Um, next is from Jay Horniak, and the subject is CM Punk failure. Hey guys, long time listener. Sadly, I block out Disco's plug nose drive through voice almost every segment on YouTube. Well, that gets you suspension. I'm going to give him one or two. Two weeks. Jay Horniak. What is your major malfunction, num nuts? That's tremendous. Hey, hey guys. Uh, well, what do you guys think should happen to CM Punk? Is he the cancer dragon on AEW? Is that Tony Khan's hand of the inmates that run the asylum? CM Punk is washed up, injury prone, acts like the Hunter Biden of professional wrestling. Tony Biden can't help but kiss CM Punk in every corner because he's diluted the out of his AEW roster and has no real stars outside the elite and MJF. If Uncle Tony wants to be taken seriously, he should pay out Punk and pull a Vince Russo and trash on national television. CM Punk deserves no respect. He's a total cancer. It looks like Bash at the Beach 2.0. Sincerely, this is Jay Horniak, who's been suspended. I, I, I've, I've been a Punk fan for a long time. I'm not so fond of you know all the stuff that we hear recently and just the way the run's gone since he was hurt that time. <laughs> but I would absolutely pay to see Tony Khan flip out on TV and and you know curse Punk out and basically do what Vince did to Hogan. That would be very entertaining. Um, Cody, you any comments on this? Yeah, I don't think he will. I mean, at the end of the day, yeah, I'm not, I would agree with everything uh, Joe said up to the part where he said, oh, I'd enjoy Tony Khan doing that. I don't think he would. Um, I think somebody like Punk, well, the problem with Punk is you didn't confront him when you should have or discipline him when you should have or, or as hard as you should have because he's, you know, he's saying, okay, this guy can't come backstage. This guy can't come. That, that, the, that doesn't look good when you're trying to be a leader and bring everybody together. Okay, that's my opinion on that. And also, at the end of the day, Punk's proven to be a merchandise seller. He still sells merchandise because I always read every week the ter- top merchandise sellers in AW know he's there. You know, he's always a guy that's going to drop people, you know. And so you just got to sit him down and tell him, listen, it. You want to keep working here and you want to have these perks, this is how it's going to go. And it doesn't seem like that's happened. Um, next one's from uh, <coughs> Muhammad Ali. Is the real Muhammad Ali, Joe, you think? Yeah. yeah I, think Most like, I don't Ali. see why not, yeah. Okay. Um, so, uh, hang on a second. Do... <sighs> Sonny in jail. Hi, Disco Kone. I want to know what's your thoughts on Sonny facing a potential 25-year sentence for pleading to no contest for DUI manslaughter. Personally, I think there's a long time coming from her how the treatment of Candido to get in person murdered by drunk driving. Thanks for reading. Wait, she she killed somebody? Yep. Oh, um, no. I've been drunk. That's I think she, she, she rear-ended a, uh, an elderly man, and he, he died. Right. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's horrible. Yeah. Yep. 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 The punishment should fit the crime for sure. I would think, right? Well, not only that, bro. Here's a problem with Sonny is that I feel sorry for her. Um, you know, she'd already been in like a fight with her boyfriend, I've been in other DUI, broken probation. Like yep. this is not a one time thing. You know, orders, what I'm you know. Right. You know. Yeah. Right. And it looked like she was going to pull it together at one point. Remember, she went into the Hall of Fame, and then she was on Raw. She looked in great shape. That was only 15 years ago, maybe, or 10. And then she just mm-hmm. fell off the, a cliff again, you know? Right. Yeah, Joe was trying to get her on his network, weren't you, Joe? <laughs> that, yeah, that may have drawn, yeah. This yeah, email yeah. is interesting. It's from Tad J, and the subject is Logan Paul and Dom. Hey, K100 crew, I recently read a quote from Logan Paul, saying they had an idea for him and Dom to become a tag team. Most hated tag team of all time. So would Dom not be able to get a word out in his promos and the hordes of booze that a combination of himself and Dom as a tag team would easily be able to become the most hated tag team of all time. Paul also said he could see a funny side to it where he's a third wheel to Dom and Rhea. Disco, Conan, and Joe. I want to know what your thoughts on these, these two becoming a tag team at some point. If you think they could possibly become one of the biggest heel tag teams in wrestling history. P.S. <clears throat> How is Mike Durbin's voice completely creepy and cringe at the same time? Sincerely, that's a tad from H Town Go Astros. Because you know why? Because he talks really low, like really soft, like a right. creep would, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. I and and he's got this big microphone. What's that there for? Yeah. 
He's a, first of he's all, a, he's a sound. Okay, Dom and uh, uh, Dom and Logan Paul be great tag team. Not as a third wheel to Dom and Rhea, but Rhea would be like the third wheel to Dom and Logan. Like she got pushed to the side right. because Dom's hanging well, out just, with Logan Paul. He could just you know? be, he, <laughs> when this guy leaves, whoever leaves, whether it's Priest or Finn, he could take their slot. He doesn't have to be a third wheel to anybody. He could be part of Judgment Day, and him right. and Dom could be a tag team within that. You know what I'm saying? Right. And he's smart because he sees how how much he has, how much he Dominic has, how much he Judgment Day says. And it's a cool looking group. He's like, man, I, I fit in there too. So he's already thinking. You know what I'm saying? Like that's why he's where he's at. Next is a Ray Tian on the subject is working grandma. What up, gents? Videos recently resurfaced the social media of an old woman getting Hogan's face, yelling and taking swings at him. I totally forgot about all this, as I'm sure you fellas have as well. I'll keep my email short so you guys can read a grip of them. My question is, was this lady at work? Was she a plant? And if so, whose idea was this? I attached a link for the video below. Let it be known I was in Iran while we were watching this. I probably laughed harder than I should have. Best of guards, and that's with DJ Tiana while in Iran. You got the clip, Joe? Yeah. Old grandma. Well, the old – bro, I grew up in the South, and you go to a – you know, like shows in the south, like the army. Right, there was always, always an old, old grandma, old right. ladies trying yeah. to hit in the Mexico ref- too. You know, they're cussing them, right? Like, like, right. Yeah, Hat, Hat Pin Mary was like a legendary uh, Madison Square Garden front row fan. All right, let's let's see. This. You hear that name? Funny. Like I like old the old ladies. There's, a, there's we miss a lot of that in today's wrestling. With heels that get the heat from the yeah. old ladies. Yeah, you, know? you don't see that anymore. Yeah. Right. He wants to punch out a fan. Watch out! She wants to punch out a fan. He wants to punch out a defenseless fan. <laughs> no, she's a fan. For every person that has a sting mask. Come on, Granny, build him. How about Granny hit him? <laughs> for every person that has a sting mask, there's 50,000 behind him. But see, she's old school. She's not touching him. Right. Right. They would touch the wrestler and get belted in their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> like, Hogan's giving the old saying, lady's face. It's good stuff. Right. They both then, worked with each other right there. You, it, right. you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 It's good stuff. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the announcers, they sold that better than they've sold anything in AEW recently, by the way, Tony Schiavone. Let's right, be honest. Is, yeah, and Larry. Be honest. <laughs> right. Next is from Jonathan S. The subject is Go Away Heat. Solutions K100 crew. Back 20 years ago, X Pac was always described as having Go Away Heat with the crowd who had grown tired of seeing him. If this was a reality, x Pac could still go in the ring and had been a standout well over a decade. Has there ever been a guess who was more go-away heat than Mike Durbin? I mean, he's an NWA Impact respondent, uh, which is which is equivalent to the least fat chick at Jenny Craig. The guy has the charisma of a cactus. Thanks, and that's with Jonathan S. Jonathan, if you'd like, I'd like to invite you on one of our roundtables with Mike Durbin, and you can address your issues with Mike Durbin on the roundtable. Uh, Joe, can we get this? Can we make this happen? Jonathan S. Yeah, why not? I'm sure Mike. Well, you got to remember that whole crew of the uh, Get My Go, they're all <laughs> brimming with charisma. Durbin, like, uh, Joe, Hughesley, you know, picked, uh, right. what was this guy? Paz. You know what? The Hughesley, Australian guy. Hughesley, yep. Hughesley hit me up That's got in DMs and Hughes. wanted us to do, the Hughesley hit me up in DMs. And wanted us to do an emergency podcast, like like you know, do one uh, on yeah. Sunday right. because of Cash the, the, the uh, Cash Wheeler getting right. arrested. Right. And I'm like, I'm like, that's not timely. What is it? He goes, well, everybody's talking. About, I'm like, what do you want us to say? I go, if we, if we come on the show, if we talk about this, I'm going to say, well, I'm just going to wait till till the till, till the facts come out. <laughs> like he got arrested, he's not going to, like, you know, he got bail. He's going to go to court. Like I'll, I'll wait for the facts. It'd be the shortest conversation ever. So I was like, I and, don't and, and we didn't receive an email about it either. Yuzi, right. I hate to tell you. Yeah. So I don't uh, know if there's people were going that crazy about it. Yeah. Next is some Gulad Ahmed. Last one. Uh, next is favorite Brock Lesnar moment. Yo, K100 crew. Simple question. What's your favorite Lesnar match moment? Guy's a legend in the sport. Two favorite ones. Okay. Okay. Let me, let me, let, wait, wait, I, I, I have to say this. Okay. This is for uh, hugely, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I just remembered something. He sent me an email on the same thing, okay? Right. And I had answered him something like, uh, I go, I'm not going to go out there and say something controversial just for numbers or something like that. 
But here's the thing. Um, did he call you? Did he write you first and saw that you, you didn't like the idea and then come to me or was it vice versa? Because you'd know. already told them no and I'd already told them no. <clears throat> Suspend Hughesley for two weeks even though it wasn't a, he didn't send an email. This is the right. first, by the way. This is for the email you might send one day. Right. right. Well, d just for a quick 30 seconds on that, because I'm not aware. All right, he got arrested for having a gun and uh, whatever. First of all, it happened a while back. He had to turn himself in. Okay. But he can't right. be. Well, not that long ago. It was probably less than a month ago. Yeah. Can right. he be stopped from traveling to all in? No. They, they didn't okay. take his passport. Right, then who cares? Non issue. So what's the, like I said, no, they what, just what, gave what, him a probation. Good. They just gave him a. So they gave him a uh, bond. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It was like low. He it wasn't a in. high bond either. Yeah. yeah. Next is from Gulad Ahmed. This is his favorite Brock Lesnar moment. You okay, 100 crew? Simple question. What's your favorite Brock Lesnar match moment? Guys, a legend of the sport. The two favorites of mine was the Kurt Angle match at WrestleMania 19 and Lesnar turned on Cody Rhodes and were off to WrestleMania. Thanks from Hangsight. P.S. Joe owes me money for Ruby Soho joining the Outcasts. Is that accurate, Joe? I have no idea. Uh, maybe. Did I bet that Ruby wouldn't? I have no idea what he's talking about. I, well, I wish you got your own money. Well, you right? got to send yeah. it. You, uh, yeah. you, know, you need to pay up. Send me some proof. Pay the man. All right. You don't remember um, what you say? I have no idea what he's talking about. Zero. I, I don't have a favorite Brock Lesnar moment. But I'll say this. You know, I, there's a lot of clips. I've seen a lot of clips of Brock Lesnar, his younger years, when he first started. He was a good worker back then, too. Mm -hmm. Like, he sold everything, you know? So I was like, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't have a favorite. Hey, let me, let my, I don't really have a, this would be my favorite moment if I had one. Uh -huh. The time he did that shooting star press and almost decapitated himself was right. It? Remember that? Um, yeah, yeah, it broke his neck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he he. Uh, when he first came back from UFC, he had a match with Cena that was like so violent and different than what was going on at that time that I I thought it was incredible. Cena took a hell of a beating, and his matches with Punk, Styles, Brian, all the all the guys you'd expect him to have great matches with, he has. Cena, very underrated uh, worker. Him that's, that's been our, great chemistry. Right. That's been 